This is Sergei Fersenov of Russian Pro Continental Team Gazprom Rus Velos Colnago V1R. During the race season, the Gazprom team are based down in Italy and they're partnered very closely with Colnago, so it's no surprise to see that the rest of their bike almost has a full complement of Italian components too. We've got Colnago on the frame, Campagnolo drivetrain, Selle Italia saddle and Dada bars and stem. Let's start with the frame though. The V1R does look a lot different from the other Colnagos in that it doesn't have the traditional lugged and tubed kind of appearance and shape that many of the classic models like the C60 do, but it is more aerodynamic, which is why a rider like Fersenov would choose it for the flat opening stages of the Giro here in Holland. As the yellow badge on the top tube says, the V1R was developed in collaboration with Ferrari, and Colnago and Ferrari have quite a long history of some really cool collaborations, so you should definitely check those out. The points that really stand out on the frame and forks are the dual mount brakes, again different to most other Colnago models, so there, and hiding underneath the chainstay down there. The brakes are Colnago's own model, they are the B1R brakes. As I mentioned, the tube shapes on this bike are much more aero, they're much less rounded than we're used to seeing on Colnago's. Forks look pretty aero too, and it has a proprietary Colnago V1R aero seat post. On top of that seat post, we have got the Selle Italia Flight Carbon Saddle. Moving forward from the Selle Italia Flight Saddle, we've got a Data 0100 stem and Data 0100 bars, both are alloy. The stem measures in at 12 centimetres and the bars are 40 centimetres wide. That's actually quite narrow, but there are definitely aerodynamic benefits to being narrower at the front that you know, those benefits are only going to add up over the course of a day's racing, let alone three weeks. For the most part, braking and shifting on Fersenov's bike is supplied by Campagnolo, just aside from the Colnago own brand direct mount brakes that we've mentioned earlier. The team are using Record, which isn't Campagnolo's top of the range group set, that's super record, but as Fersenov and his teammates shown, it's more than good enough to win some of the best professional bike races out there. So he's got Record EPS brake levers and shifters, a Record EPS front mech, Record EPS rear mech, He's actually got Campagnolo's SRM chain set. He doesn't have the head unit on at the moment, but the power meter's there. And he's got 3953 chain rings on that. He's running a chain catcher too. That's made by Colnago. The chain is a Campagnolo record chain. And the cassette is an 11 through to 28. 28 is a cassette that allows a pro cyclist to pretty much never need to change cassette. It's gonna cover flat races, it's gonna cover hilly races, and it's only the extreme mountain days where they're gonna to need to go for easier gears. The crank length that he's running is 172.5, which is really right in the middle of the range of cranks that you'd see professional cyclists use. Pedals are supplied by Look, and they are the Keo Carbon. They're actually not the Keo Carbon Blade versions, but I'm sure that a set of pedals is very much a set of pedals to the best pros out there. After the group set, Fersenov and his teammates keep it Italian and keep it Campagnolo. Fersenov is running the Bora Ultra 35 wheel set, which is the lighter of the wheel sets at their disposal. They've also got the Ultra 50s and perhaps the 80 mil deep ones for really, really flat, not very windy at all days. But the Ultra 35s will cover him for all climbing days. They've still got a bit of an aero section on and they also have ceramic bearings. So everything about these wheels is intended to get rolling as quickly as possible and to roll as easily as possible when you're climbing. So really important for someone who's going for the overall or going for winds on hillier days. The tyres are a really, really interesting one, and they are by a brand called Tufo. And Tufo makes cyclocross tubers, they do make road tyres as well, obviously. But the thing they're most famous for is tub glue and tub tape, so it's actually quite rare to see Tufo tyres. They are the Tufo Elite Ride 23s, and the recommended minimum pressure on these is 115 psi, which is really, really high. Sounds like he's got at least that in now. They're 23 millimetres wide, so at the narrower range of what we're used to seeing pro cyclists do. I think with all that covered, it's time for some vital statistics. Right, the weight of this bike is 7.030 kilograms, which is right on the money for me. Especially, they're about to face some flatter days here at the Giro in Holland and then early on in Italy. So that is just 230 grams above the UCI's minimum weight limit. And, you know, there's probably a little bit of movement to make the bike lighter there, but with the aero benefits of the frame, maybe, you know, it's the ultimate cross between aero and lightweight. Saddle height, 71.5 centimetres, and Fersenov's reach is 54.5 centimetres. I hope you've liked this video, and I hope you've liked Matt's little cameo appearance too. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and do hit share as well. To see our Pro Bike playlist, 
just click right there. To see our Giro d'Italia 2016 playlist, click down there. And to subscribe to GCN, click on the globe. There's also a link to our shop.